welcome to my channel and I'm just going to make sure this is filming because I literally filmed this video and I realised that I didn't press record so well done Sophie, that was great. So today I am going to be hopefully filming my autumn and winter most anticipated reads. I can't believe we're already doing this, 2019 is not far away and just so you know this video is not going to include books that come out in January and February because I'm going to do a whole different video for that. Also you might know a lot of these are YA novels and I've been going on about stopping YA for ages but these are YA novels that are parts of series that I love and I want to carry on so that's my excuse. And also there's one YA novel by an author that I love so I just had to get that pre-ordered. So let's just go straight on because like I've said I filmed this video once and now I'm annoyed how I'm having to film it again. So the first book we have is Two Dark Rains by Kendall Blake and this is out I think on the 4th of September. This is the third book in the Three Dark Crown series, which is an elementalist YA series that follows three triplets who are princesses and they have to fight between themselves to find out who becomes queen. But as usual in YA, that didn't go to plan. The end of the second book, we saw two princesses rowing away from the island, which is believed to be impossible, leaving the other princess who has gone slightly mad to rule the kingdom. And I just cannot wait to see how it picks up, what happens and stuff like that. And also, I believe what with the novellas coming out, it had some hints about, was it the Oracle Queen who went mad? I think it was the Oracle Queen. I have a theory that one of the princesses may be an Oracle, or that one of the friends is an oracle, so I'm interested to see where this will go. Then we have The Incendi Diaries by R.O. Kwan, and this is out on the 6th of September. This was a bit of a sudden pre-order. I saw the cover, read the blurb and thought, this sounds different. And this year is all about trying stuff different, that's why I've stopped YA. I want to try and get into different books that I wouldn't normally read. When I read the blurb, it did sound really interesting though. It follows a girl called Phoebe who joins a religious cult that has ties with North Korea. And I believe Phoebe is a Korean living in America. I'm not 100% sure on that. But when this religious extremist group bombs some places and kills people, Phoebe goes missing. Then we're introduced to Will, who is somehow incredibly in love with Phoebe. And he takes it upon himself to find out where Phoebe is and to find her. So that all sounds very interesting. I've never read anything like this before, I think. So I can't wait to give this a go and see what it's like. And I believe it's Iroh Kwan's debut novel as well. Then we have a book that I've been waiting God knows how long for, and that is Lethal White by Robert Gilbreth, a.k.a. J.K. Rowling. I love her Common Strike novels. I read the first three, loved them. A book hasn't got come out since I started my job in 2015. So I honestly think I've been waiting three four years for this book i haven't read the blurb an automatic pre-order all my other books are in paperback this is going to be in hardback and i just did not want to wait ages for the paperback to come out i want to read this straight away if i have to buy a paperback so it matches all my other books i will do all i know is that this follows common strike a private detective and his now partner in the business robin no idea what happens no idea what crimes take place I am just happy that this is out and it's out on the 18th of September. Then going into October, we've got Muse of Nightmares by Lani Taylor. This is the sequel and I believe conclusion to Strange the Dreamer. Strange the Dreamer was such a beautiful book. It started off slow, but the imagery and the descriptions and world building was so beautiful that I can't wait for it to carry on the Muse of Nightmares. But I believe this is going to go down a totally different route if you think about what happened in the conclusion of Strange the Dreamer. It was such a cliffhanger, but it had me thinking, oh, the next book may be a bit predictable. So I just hope Lana Taylor pulls it round and isn't as predictable as I was thinking she might be. I haven't really looked into the blurb much, so I have no idea what happens. And the Watson's edition I've pre-ordered, I think it's a special edition because it's got splayed edges, so it will match my Strange Dreamer. So this will make a beautiful addition to my shelf, because just look at that, it's just so beautiful. Then we have another book that I've been waiting ages for and that's Bridge of Clay by Marcus Zusak. Marcus Zusak, if you don't know, is the author of The Book Thief, one of my favourite historic fictions. I just loved it. So when I heard he had a new book out, I just went and pre-ordered it straight away. Especially when I found out it was a Waterstones special edition that was signed, that just went and pre-ordered straight away. I've now looked at the blurb and it sounds interesting. I don't know where in history it's set 
but I'm guessing it might be one of the world wars. It follows five brothers, but we focus on Claire, who I think is the youngest brother, and their father has gone missing. And I believe Claire probably goes to try and find him and sort out what happened with him. So I think it'll be really interesting. If it's anything like The Book Thief, I know I'm going to love it. Then we have Kingdom of Ash by Sarah J Maas, the conclusion to the Throne of Glass series. So I'm so glad this is coming out. I only got into Throne of Glass, I think it was last year. I really struggled with the books though. So Empire of Storms and Tower of Dawn, I listened to the audiobook and I loved it. So this is going to be going down an audiobook route. I've no idea when the audiobook is out. I know the book is out on the 30th of October. So I'm hoping the audiobook will come out at the same time because I will want to read this straight away especially because that week is my birthday my birthday's on the 31st and i know i've got that whole week booked off so i'll be able to go into this straight away and also this is one of the few times where i'm glad the uk gets paperbacks and not hardbacks just because the us hardback i hate to say it looks awful basically it's this cover can you see that except where everything's white it's gold foil and on the pictures it doesn't look too nice Whereas on ours, we've just got special gold foil in the special flame bits around. I'm so happy this is going to be so pretty compared to the US edition and I just can't wait for it to come out. Also, this will probably be my last Sarah J Mass book just because it's the end to the Throne of Glass series. And also, I'm not going to carry on with the Court of Thorns and Roses just because I'm not interested in the new series that's happening. I believe she should have just ended it at maybe A Court of Wings and Ruin, just ended it there. So yeah, this might be my last Sarah J Maas book, so it's an end of a very, very short era. I am glad I've read them though, because I think they do deserve to be read. The last one is The Crimes of Grindelwald, the original screenplay by J.K. Rowling. I'm only really getting this because I got the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them screenplay, and it's a very pretty book, and I think it's a quite nice collectible to have on my shelves. And also the cover of this just looks so pretty so you've got the Eiffel Tower because it's set in Paris and I just thought it looked real pretty so I thought I might as well collect them and put them on my shelf on my Harry Potter shelf. Basically this is just the screenplay of the film that comes out on the same day 16th of November so that's all this is but I pre-ordered it because like I said I thought it looks pretty. Also mentioning Crimes of Grindelwald have we got an illustrated edition of Goblet of Fire coming out this year because I thought they were doing one every year but I haven't heard anything about the Illustrated Goblet of Fire yet. I mean, obviously the books do start getting longer, so it may take Jim K longer to illustrate them. But I was really hoping it'd be this year, but obviously not. If anyone has any information about that, please comment down below because I am really interested because I do really want to see the Goblet of Fire illustrated edition because I can just imagine it being so so pretty but anyway those are the pre-orders I've got for the end of the year not as many as I would think but I do have quite a few books coming out in January February that I haven't pre-ordered because I'll pre-order those back in December when I find out how much money I've spent on people for Christmas if you have any books you're looking forward to that I think I might be interested in comment down below and they might be added to my list and I will see you later with a new video bye